Okay, Legion, what am I watching? What is this? Okay, so this drug that David, um, I guess, creates is blue. When he's angry, it turns red, and then everybody else is, becomes angry. Oh, look, the end of the world. That makes perfect sense. Don't piss him off. Um, however, after that scene showing um, him basically creating red smoke and everybody kind of fighting, how does he calm himself down to make it blue? Because when Carrie, Guy Carrie is there, everyone seems much calmer. So that's that continuity seems wrong to me. But anyway, um, the fact that we got to see Lenny as the Mad Hatter made me all sorts of giddy. And that entire episode, so she's in like this like flowy arm kind of very hippie like shirt and I can totally get behind that. And then I can just have a cup with the vial inside and it's like tea bag. Um, anyway, that aside, this entire episode, I really, 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 really dislike Sid. The fact that she essentially is making David angry. Well, I didn't like her anyway, that's besides the point. But she's making David angry. And she's trying to work with Amal Farouk to say, we had him. He told me we had him and we did nothing. Okay. If I remember correctly, pretty sure Amal Farouk is the one that told Sid that David is going to essentially destroy the world. I feel like there's a lot of like different pieces happening here. Whether Amal Farouk is trying actually to convince, successfully convince Sid to stay away from David, and then Lenny. You see this at the very end, once they capture capture Carrie, that she essentially confronts him and Lenny, confronts Carrie and says, when? When is David going? I know he's going. When is he going? Well, I have a, sne- I have a theory, I have a sneaky feeling, and I have a theory that David is clearly only thinking of himself. Okay. He doesn't want the world to end. He doesn't want you know, him and Sid to essentially fall into this fallout and he doesn't want to destroy the world. Well, in the process of him going back in time and essentially starting over, will he ever have Lenny as a friend? Because Lenny was a figment of his imagination because he thought he was schizophrenic and then she really wasn't Lenny, but Benny, but then Lenny, but then the Shadow King, so Lenny will become no more once again. And she had this internal struggle through season two with the Shadow King saying, hey, so I'm alive, right? Hey, so I can live my life, I can do things, right? And he's like, yeah, 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 that's fine, we'll find you a body. And oh look, he did with his sister, with David's sister's body, and Lenny's kind of essentially living out her life, but still doing the druggy thing, because why not live your life to the fullest through drugs? So, now what? My theory still stands, though, way back when I did my pre-thoughts, that the end of this season is going to be full circle, because David wants to go back to the beginning. And in order to do that, we're going to have this entire season showing that happening. Um, so next next episode looks like they go to do almost a flashback. It could be a flashback. It could be, could be whatever to see David's parents. Okay. That's fine. Filler episode. Whatever. Um, but I feel like the very, very end, he's going to start at the beginning and it's going to just there it is. Um, I do have to comment, of course, on Carrie, Guy Carrie's, actually both Carrie's, in the van with Clark essentially being like, can I go? Can I get her? When can I get her? Girl Carrie regarding to Lenny. And it dawned on me, I'm like, why does she want to go after Lenny? Lenny did nothing aside from the fact that leaving with David. Um, And I thought about it, and it has everything to do with the fact that Lenny, while under the influence of the Shadow King, a.k.a. Amal Farouk, by the way, or maybe it was Oliver. No, it was Oliver. She was, she was Shadow King's minion 
following Oliver around, and she made Carrie and Carrie unable to actually, essentially, become one again. And clearly, Girl Carrie is having an issue with that. <laughs> Let me get her. I want to get her. And of course, she shows up, and that entire scene of Lenny's hippie chicks, um, and Girl Carrie was priceless. She's standing there, and like a knife gets flown next to her, and she's like, all right. And, you know, one of the guards gets out, and then she's like, okay, drop the net, and the net falls on the girls, and she's like, hmm, that was easy. And, like, it's just really, it was very anticlimactic a little bit, but it was also, it led up to the fact that Guy Carey gets kidnapped by Lenny, which is a riot, by the way, and then shows up and is like, you know, she... She gets she gets Guy Carey in David's space house, whatever it is. And then that whole scene of Carey in the room, the waiting room, with somebody. So he's peeking through the hole, and then the girl comes in, and he has this, like, it's a very comedic, comedic scene. Because it's like, okay, these people are clearly drugged up in this, like, commune of sorts, of, of David's followers. And she's very oblivious to everything that's going on. It's like, okay, come in. Essentially, she had a tray of stuff, so okay, come in, give you the food, you say something, and leave, and go smoke some more, whatever. Well, she comes in, and Guy Carey has this, like, no, I got you, I'm gonna get you. I figured out the room, how the sound goes in the room, and I'm going to fool you. Well, oh, look, he successfully did that until he stumbles upon David's cave. And then David's like, you're gonna help me. Well, no. We're going to use the force now. You're going to help me. I'm going to help you. You will enjoy helping me. Okay. And then this this really weird scene after that, well, after Lenny shows up with her freaking cane and this, like, duck mask for the gas, um, he's, Guy Carey is essentially seeing Girl Carey and then goes to the mirror. So he's, he's at the, he's at the, um, I don't know what the word is. My brain is not functioning right now. I like, clearly have a lot to say. He's looking in like the mirror and he's brushing his hair, which is really bizarre because he has short hair. But you have the camera spinning around, so it's almost like what Girl Carrie is currently doing, but she's very feminine, so that doesn't seem right. So it's clearly going on in Guy Carrie's brain. But then he hears a knock and he goes to the wardrobe behind him. And what happens? Somebody comes out who has glasses and Guy Carey looks completely different, so I'm not sure if it's Girl Carey who was dancing with him. I thought there was a different height difference there, so maybe that was right. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. And then all of a sudden, this person, this girl, turns into David. After they fight of who's going to lead the dance. David, what are you doing? Why are you controlling everybody's minds? What is your issue? And also, he has no... Um, like, I think he appreciates Lenny there because Lenny is essentially his right-hand person. However, when Lenny comes in with Switch in the beginning, David's like, he kind of looks at Lenny and is like, he, you know, he tells her through, um, through her mind, you're hungry. You need to leave now. You need to be happy or whatever it is that, that, uh, that he says to her. And she kind of pauses and smiles and is like, okay, I'm going to go eat now. It's like, I don't think I like the fact that he's controlling everybody. I figured, well, aside from Switch, he hasn't controlled her yet. Um, give it time. Give it a few more episodes. I'm sure he will. Once she amplifies her powers. Um, I don't know. This entire episode, I'm like, it was very fun. It was very fun to watch. But... There's so many things going on. So many things. I still dislike Sid. Ma Farouk, I'm pretty sure, has other plans. Guy Carey is just a harmless pawn. I'm glad we're seeing more of the Carries, basically. Um, and I didn't just have a random appearance like Potomy did in the very first episode. Or was it the second episode? I don't even know at this point. Um, and I hope Sid gets a reality check because she's pissed me off. Um, so, I don't know. I'm... I'm hooked! You can tell that much! <laughs> I just... I'm clearly... Pff, after every episode. So, 
this review was more or less me just running down my thoughts on everything, not so much anything really important. I'm sorry if, ta if I talk fast, and I'm sorry if I threw spoilers in there. Should have said that from the beginning. So, till next week, I suppose. There you go.